Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Today in this episode, we are going to talk about how to do solar and shadow analysis on your design project. So let's begin. Here I have a small residential project. What I want to do here in this project is to understand how the sun is going to cast shadows over my building so that I understand whether the design intentions are going to really work in a practical location against the sun. This is called solar study. I like to also call it shadow study because we are what we are actually doing here is studying the shadows around the building. So to, in order to do this kind of solar study, let's start with switching on the shadows. So the first step is just go to the view control bar and switch on the shadows. Once you've done this, the shadows are going to react to the sun. So the next step is to set up the sun. So let's go ahead and go to the sun symbol here and go to the sun settings. So let's start with solar study still. We are also going to go through each of these different features in this video, but let's begin with a simple one, still study. Still study really means that we are analyzing the shadows on one day, on one particular time at one location. So let's set up the location of our sun first. Now let's go ahead in this location dialog box and go to the define location by dropdown. Here you have two choices. Either you set up your location using the default city list or using the internet mapping service. Using internet mapping service, you can particularly locate your location in the map and define it. Or you can go ahead in the default city list, choose a particular location from the default list of cities here. Or the third option is that you can manually add the latitude longitude of your particular site location. Once you have done that, let's set up the date and time of the sun that we want to cast shadows at. So let's go to this date here. Today is 21st of November 2023. I'm going to choose today's day. And let's go to the time. Let's say I want to uh, check the shadows at morning 11 o'clock. So I'm going to change the timing 11 here. Now, if you have multiple day basement levels here, you have to make sure that the ground plane at level on which the shadows needs to be cast is the really the ground level which is selected here. And I'm going to say OK to this. So here you see the, how the shadows have changed as per the sun settings. So here, if I go ahead in the sun symbol again and switch on the sun pass on, you will really see the little symbol of the sun where it is located. So if you select this particular uh, symbol of the sun and drag it around you will see that you can also change the time of the shadows that you have changed so this is basically going to the sun settings and changing the time instead you can simply visually drag the sun to a different time zone you can also type on different time for example if i make it two o'clock in the afternoon it's going to change uh, the sun to two o'clock in the afternoon and so are the shadows another way of doing a study on a single day but a different timing is to go back to the sun settings choose a single day solar study this means that on same day but on different timings i want to see the animation of how my shadows are going to be different so i'm going to choose sunrise to sunset time which has 11 frames here and the time interval I'm choosing to be every one hour. So you can also make analysis of every 15 minutes, every half an hour, but I'm going to make it one every one hour. I'm going to say okay to this. So right now, the, you can see the timing is 518, which means the sun is still rising. So I'm going to go ahead in my sun symbol again and switch on the solar study. Now this solar study is going to appear only once you have shadows on and the sun setting is set to either single day or multi-day studies. Now a typical way would be to go and switch on this play preview button, but this is generally very fast for any kind of analysis. So what I like to do here is to go to the first frames. We are at the first frame out of 11 one and then go to the next frame and slowly and gradually understand how these shadows are going to be cast on my building. So let's take the example of this particular terrace where we have this design of pergola. And what we want to understand is that how this design is going to cast shadow over this terrace that's going to be interesting or not. So let's go to the next frame. Next frame, the sun is rising and we have started to see some shadows here. And next frame, we can already see some shadows over there next frame next frame now you can see the design is actually moving towards the ball so maybe perhaps if i move my 
uh, pergola design a little bit on the right i can really see the entire of my shadows on the terrace so i can make these kind of design decisions or design changes based on the analysis that i do here so let's go to the next frame and next and next so we can see that we are at 10th frame which is at two o'clock in the afternoon and the last one is at three o'clock in the afternoon after which there's going to be sunset so um this is single day solar study so you can analyze your design from morning to evening now another way of doing a solar study is to do a multi-season solar study so you can see this is almost in winter here in nepal but you can check whether how that um, terrace is going to react to the sun um, when in summer or on in different months of the year so let's go ahead and go to the sun settings again and choose multi-day solar study this will allow you to choose different dates and different times so let's go ahead and check maybe from january 1st to december 31st i want to see my sun two o'clock in the afternoon on every single day of the year how it's going to react so i can say every one hour or i can say no every one day 365 frames is enough so i want to see at two o'clock in the afternoon from january 1st to december 31st how my building is going to cast shadows i'm going to say okay to this and i'm going to go back to my sunset sun button and choose solar study so let's go back to the first frame which is here on 1st of january 1st of january two o'clock in the afternoon and you can go ahead next frame to see every single day here you can also go ahead and play preview to see how that's going to appear every single day in every in the whole year and you can see how the sun is moving and so are the shadows so some designs appear better in the summer some appear better in the winter if you design a summer terrace and if there is no sun coming in practically on that side what's the use of a summer terrace so you can really check whether your design intentions are working in practically against the sun so um, another interesting thing about this is that you can also export this at an abi and present it to your client so i can go to the file export and go all the way down images and animation and solar study to in order to do this you must already create a solar study and it should be active and you can go ahead and say okay you want to export all the frames or particular frames from 1 to 10 or 1 to 100 or something but i'm going to export all of these the frames per second is the total 365 frames that we have created and current speed of your animation is 15 frames per second so total time of your animation is going to be 24 seconds so more number of frames per second faster your animation is less number of frames slower your animation is so let's say i'm going to do five frames per second this is going to change um, my total time as one minute 13 seconds the visual style is currently our visual style is um, shaded with edges you can also do that i generally like to see my shadows in hidden line mode because um, without any kind of makeup your building is true and the shadows are very clear so i like to see my shadows in hidden light but it's up to you how you would like to analyze it um, design if you're showing it to your client you may want to also do it on realistic or rendering if you're doing rendering it's going to render 365 frames so be sure that you really have that much time to um, create this kind of study i'm going to do this in hidden line mode which consumes the least amount of time and it's most uh, wonderful when it, you want to do the actual design analysis um, I'm going to say okay to this and I'm going to put it on my desktop and save it up. So as you can see, it's going to uh, create 365 frames every single day at two o'clock, all the shadows, and it's going to export this particular movie as an AVI file in your desktop. So you can all see in this hidden line mode how clearly you can see your shadows and you can see how the shadows are reacting on your building. Uh, with this tool so there we are we are ready let's me show you how we what we have done here i'm going to... 
So this is the AVI file that we have exported and it's going to show you the entire solar study. You can also present this to your client and show him how that design is going to actually look practically on your site. So I'm going back into my Revit and I want to show you another trick of creating solar study when you don't know the location of your sun. Let's go to the sun settings. Now, so far we've talked about still, single day and multi-day solar study. And there's a fourth feature called lighting. This is when you don't know where your location of your sun is. So for example, when I do sunlight from top right and I press OK, my sun is going to go towards top right and it's going to cast shadows. Similarly, if I go back to sun setting and use sunlight from top left, or I, you can also customize and change your azimuth and altitude to um, reposition your sun. And here is my sun on top left, which is why the shadows are being cast at the bottom left, bottom right, sorry. So here, and this is the simplest way of having a sun and creating shadows on it. So this is when you use these so this feature you can use when you don't know where your location of the sun is. Now, so far, all of these four features of solar studies that we have done is on exterior view. How about when I want to do a solar study on my interior views, when I want to see whether a particular room is getting enough sunlight or not, or whether my window sizes are big enough or small enough, um, depending on your design intention. How do we check the interiors? If I go to my one of my ground floor plans and try to switch on the shadows, you know what's going to happen here. Now, because of the view range, because of the cutting plane of the uh, floor plan views, there is nothing above that particular cutting plane. Sun is going to penetrate right through your floor plan. So this is not the way you would do a solar study because it's not going to be accurate. So how do I really analyze whether my window sizes are enough, whether the room that I've designed is going to get enough sun? So for this, I like to create uh, perspective camera views inside my building. So for example, if I want to check this particular room, I'll go ahead and create a camera view around this end. I'm going to check this particular room here. I'm going to make this a little bit like this. And then I can go ahead and switch on my shadows go back to my sun settings and let's say I want to do a single day sunrise to sunset kind of solar study. So I'm going to switch on my solar study and go to its analysis. So I can see that some light is going to come inside this room at seven o'clock in the morning and then we are moving towards nine o'clock and the sun is going towards these windows and some sun is going to come through this particular window. So if you want more sun, if you're in a so if you're in a location where you want more sun, you want to probably increase the size of your windows or the location of your windows. If you're in a country where you don't want the sun to come in, then you want um, also to change your design accordingly. So this tool really helps you analyze room by room, each room, how it's going to react to the sun. You can either do a single day solar study or a multi-day solar study to understand how that room is going to react to the sun across the whole year. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. In the next one, we are going to talk about how to present elevation drawings more interestingly in Revit. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.